Dear brothers and sisters, the saints in Christ, welcome to an episode. Today's episode title is, is it okay or is it possible to give uh, some of the characteristics or titles of Jesus Christ to St. Mary? Today's episode is uh, related to the uh, St. Mary's titles in the Agbeya book, all right? Uh, someone passed me a short clip and we're going to, to answer uh, this. It's uh, a short clip. Let's watch this and come back again. وتسابونا سيد المسيح لكل المجد بيقول أنا هو الكرمة وإحنا في صلاة الأجبية بنقول على القديسة العذراء مريم أنت هي الكرمة الحقيقية الحاملة عن قود الحياة هل من الصحيح أن إحنا ككنيسة ندي ألقاب السيد المسيح لكل المجد لأمنا العذراء مريم فعلا في يوحنا 15 قال أنا هو الكرمة الحقية وأبي الكرم وإحنا فعلا في صلاة الساعة الثالثة في القطعة الثالثة نقول يا والدة الإله أنت هي القرمة الحقيقية الحاملة عن قود الحياة لا ده أنا عايز أقول لك الأكثر من كده في يوحنا عشرة يقول أنا هو الباب وإحنا ككنيسة في صلاة نص الليل نقول يا باب الحياة العقلية طب إيه بقى الموضوع أنا عايز أقول إن ربنا نفسه في كتير من الألقاب اللي هو بتاعته هو الدهن نحن يعني مثلا زي ما قال أنا هو النور الحقيقي قال لنا أنتم نور العالم بس لازم نفهم أن أنا هو النور بمعنى أن أنا مصدر النور يبقى المعنى هنا مختلف أنتم نور العالم أنتوا إنعكاس للنور بتاعي عشان تبدأوا تنوروا لليه للناس ندي مثال تاني قال عن نفسه أنا هو الراعي وفي نفس الوقت قال أقيم رعاه أو نفس اللقب هو حسب قلب أو لما قال لبطرس ارعى خرافي يبقى ممكن يدي الألقاب هو بنفسه يبقى الصفة بالنسبة لربنا معنى والصفة بالنسبة لنا معنى آخر ده بالإضافة إن الصفة لما تبقى عند ربنا بتبقى غير محدودة لكن عندنا احنا كمخلوقين على صورته ومثاله بتبقى الصفة مالها محدودة نرجع بقى لتفسير انا هو الكرم واللقب ده مش ادينا للعذراء بس ده ادينا للكنيسه وادينا لاي زوج. انا هو الكرم معناها انا هو الاصل وانتم الاخصان. العذراء بنقول عليها الكرم الحق الحقيقيه او الحقانيه لان وجد فيها عنقود الحياه فاللي فيها عنقود تبقى هي الكرم وبنقول عنها الكرم التي لم يفلحها احد. طب الكنيسة بنقول برضو عليها الكرمة تعهد هذه الكرمة التي غرثتها يمينك أو نقول ماذا يصنع لقرمي وأنا لم أصنعه هنا الكرمة بمعنى جماعة المؤمنين نفسه أو الزوجة بنقول عنها إنها الكرمة المخصبة الكرمة المخصبة في جوانب يبقى مش غلط إن إحنا ندي نفس الألقاب بس إحنا نقصد معنى تاني بيأكد نفس المعنى بتاع ربنا ده مش بيقلل من عظمته ولا بيقلل من صفاته ولكن ده بيكمل الصورة نفسها وبيكمل المعنى I understand maybe you didn't understand everything so I'll recap this stuff A lady asked this priest named Hegomain uh, he, he, he she asked him uh, uh, Jesus Christ, to whom be all the glory, uh, said about himself, I am the, uh, the vineyard, or I'm the vine. And in our prayers, we say to St. Mary, you are the true vine that carrying the cluster of life. Uh, then she said, is it, uh, is it okay for us as a church to give the titles of Jesus to him be all the glory, to our mother Mary. Okay, then we, we've seen the answer. So just I have a few comments on what the lady said. Number one, she said twice, uh, Lord Jesus, to him all glory. If, as you say, to him all gro glory, this means no other glory. So how come that you give glorification to St. Mary and the, and the plenty of people that you made them of your own. Just because they, they put on a black cloth or they went to the desert as monks 
and when they go there they think now oh, we should be the top of this church so we are the saints and uh, they would love to be either bishops it's a prestige uh, prostration kissing hands money uh, cars position and of course he's a saint already or the other way if he doesn't become a bishop he goes the other way ascetic so uh, you go so go with dirty stuff not uh, brushing your teeth not having a bath uh, uh, you eat in uh, like in a very primitive way and you put some of the uh, of the food the sauce on your beard beard sorry and so people and you, uh, you try like to act as a, as a silly person uh, you have some sense by the way like that so people oh yeah 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 uh, he is a saint because he's just like he acting like a like an like an idiot or a silly person all right so it is not like that it's like so it, it's all so this is your saints all right second thing you said that is it okay for us as a church before you say it as a church just to remind you it's a, a church that is excommunicated since uh, since the council of uh, Chalcedon in year 451 which means according to your laws the, the Holy Spirit departed from this church which means its priesthood is void and which means also all its allegedly sacraments performances are ill like void not no, the Holy Spirit does not work in there which means your uh, marriage is adultery that's it okay as one of your priests said that doubt about Protestant last one it says uh, our mother Saint Mary no Saint Mary is not our mother she is not the mother of the believers like in Islam <coughs> Saint Mary is a member in the body of Christ like any other member she needs the salvation of Lord, of Lord Jesus Christ and by the way the member is not more important than the body I repeat this again a member in the body is not more important or more honor, honored than the whole body and before you like you you go against me now Saint Augustine said that by the way all right in a long uh, long uh, uh, sermon we'll come to this in another episode by the way okay now let's now uh, uh, answer the uh, uh, the priest I would say the Baal priest anyone offers incense before a statue or an icon he's a Baal priest he, this is idol worshipping first of all he said to the lady ah yes you're right in John chapter 15 Lord Jesus said I am uh, the uh, the true vine and yes uh, it's true in the prayer of the seventh hour we say to Saint Mary you are the true vine carrying the cluster of life this is a disastrous uh, statement by the way so let us Osiotikos you are the true vine who bore the cluster of life let's re uh, answer this number one we cannot find at all in the Bible that Saint Mary was described or prophesied for as the true vine. Number two, you will never find in the Bible that Lord Jesus Christ was prophesied or described as the cluster of life. This is a heresy. All right, it's something not and not from the Bible yet. He was described as like a shepherd, as a, the uh, branch as uh, the savior as uh, a sacrifice but not as cluster of life and we'll come to this in detail so now let's read let us read now this so what does it mean when the lord said i am the true vine and after that he said also we are the branches in fact actually he is giving us some teachings plus some warning and responsibility it is not just i am the true vine and that's it or you are the branches and that's it no 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 no. it's a big topic so let's read this together what the lord said actually in john 15 i am the true vine 
my fa and my father is the vine dresser okay good now let's watch the Lord is teaching us something and giving us some responsibility and warning by the way it is not just a, a like uh, a, a saying with no meaning or with no purpose no it has a very important purpose the Lord continued every branch in me that does not bear fruit he ta he takes away and every branch that bears fruit he prunes that it may bear more fruit makes sense you are already clean because of the word which i have spoken to you abide in me and i in, in you as the branch cannot bear fruit of itself unless it abides in the vine neither can you unless you abide in me so the lord Jesus christ when he said i am the true vine he he's giving us a topic i am the true vine and you are the branches and you must carry fruit and you cannot do this without abiding in me and if you don't abide in me you will be cut off and thrown in the fire oh my goodness yes it goes that far so we have a responsibility the lord is giving us the like uh, 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 the chance giving us the uh, mechanism how to do it and and it is a job and if we don't do it we are going to lose our eternal life here we go i am the vine you are the branches so it is not just a, a topic hey i am the true vine and that's it no there is something behind it i am the true vine you are the branches he who abides in me and i in him bears much fruit for without me you can do nothing absolutely he's teaching us if anyone does not abide in me he is cast out as a branch and is withered and they gather them and throw them into the fire and they are burned here we go so there was a topic so you can't just take this title and just throw it to someone there was a topic behind it teaching to us he is the true vine we are the branches and in order to bear fruit we must abide in him and if we don't abide in him we will have no fruit so what is going to happen this branch will be cut off and thrown into the fire so you cannot just say ah oh, mother of god oh, mother of god you are the true vine what are you talking about what do you mean but she is the true vine this means what it's a disaster by the way she cannot be the true vine at all this is the job of the lord Jesus christ and there is a responsibility behind it so you can't just throw it to anyone it's a heresy by the way saint mary is a branch like any branch in the vine saint mary is like anyone she had a job and she, the lord will assess to what extent this job was was done and she will be rewarded accordingly and some other people could have another job and according to their honesty or their like uh, faithfulness in doing this job they would be rewarded accordingly and remember lord Jesus christ said about john the baptist not about saint mary he is the best one that uh, all out of those who born of, of women all right so don't uh, put saint mary as whatever uh, she is like actually you, you make her like a goddess goddess anyway number three who is entitled to give the title to some other people it is not you now number four let's now watch this heresy when they say you are the true vine who bore the cl cluster of life now we'll watch it watch this story this is the true vine this is saint mary and this is this is what the cluster this is jesus the cluster of life so who gives the life to who the vine gives the life to the cluster or the cluster gives the life to to uh, to the vine so this is a heresy who is first the cluster or the vine who gives the life to who who is number one who is the second one who proceeds who proceeds from the other so when you say saint mary is the true vine and jesus is the 
cluster of life. Number one, from where did you get this title of Jesus as the cluster of life? And when you say St. Mary is the true vine, actually he gets his life off St. Mary. What a shame. So this is a heresy. So this is what we call like a side street theology. Hmm? Side street theology. So this, this is when people like ignorant of the Bible and just the, just to glorify someone than other than God, actually, actually, definitely Satan blinds them and takes them in this direction to the extent that actually they worship other people. They worship idols. Okay. Second point or second fold in this episode. Uh, the priest continues. Uh, I would like to tell you even more than that. St. Mary, the vine, uh, the true vine, is something like symbol. Even there is more than that. He say, he continues, in the book of John chapter 10, Jesus said about himself, I am the, I am the door or the gate. And we as a church, in the midnight prayer also, we say about St. Mary, oh, the reasonable gate of life. My goodness. He say, are you proud of that? What a shame. St. Mary is the gate of life. Hallelujah. There is no, no need for Jesus then, by the way. And what does this mean? She is the gate of life. She gives a life. Jesus said, I am the gate of life. Who enters through me will be saved and will go in and out safely and find pasture. pasture. So, is St. Mary the same? Here he says, and he continues, I would like to say that God himself forgive us some of his uh, titles. And he mentioned the uh, true uh, light. He said, I am the true light. I am the source of uh, light. You are the light of the world. Watch now this. Uh, as if you are the reflection of the the, of my light to uh, to people, I would like to now to answer this again. He talks. He not, he doesn't know what he's talking about. This guy. Number one, he did not answer what is meant by, oh Saint Mary, the you are the reasonable gate of life. He did not co comment on this. He did not explain how, how, how this works with Saint Mary. All right, we'll 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 handle this when we come. Uh, in the episode of St. Mary's uh, in the Midnight Prayer. Uh, number two, in order to assure the first heresy that St. Mary is the true vine carrying or boring the, um, the cluster of life, now he is saying he comes with more heresies and he says, uh, same like when Lord just said, I am the, li the, uh, the light, and he said also you are the light of the world. I will explain this again in the light of what we mentioned before. When Lord just talked, he is the source of life, or sorry, the, of light. He is the light of this world. He was teaching us something. Then after that, he put upon our shoulders a job and responsibility. So it is not just, I am the true light. You are the light of the world. And that's it. As title, something just uh, honoring. No, no, no. There is a big job behind this. And also there is a warning. And if we don't do this job, we'll pay the price for that. All right? We have a job. We, the Lord has a purpose in our lives. And according to our faithfulness in fulfilling his purpose in us, in our life, he, we will be rewarded. We could be like in glory. We could be in a shame. So let's now read this together. From the book of John chapter 8 Jesus then Jesus spoke to them again saying I am the light of the world ah, hallelujah yes no problem now what you would like to say about Jesus about the, that Lord Jesus he who follows me shall not walk in darkness so the, he is not saying that I this is my title no it's my job and I show you what's up what's happening but have light have the light of life, John 8. Now, move to John 12. I have come as a light into the world, that whoever believes in me, he, sorry, 
should not abide in darkness. So this, why the Lord is talking like that? He says, I am the light of the world. Whoever follows me or believes in me shall not walk in the darkness. Whoever believes in me shall not abide in darkness. Now we move to John 3 again. For everyone practicing evil hates the light and does not come to the light, lest his deeds should be exposed. But he who does the truth comes to the light, that his deeds may be clearly seen, that they have been done in God. John 3. What's next? Next one, our responsibility when we become the light of the world. What is what is the what the the Lord is expecting from us? Now let's read now from the book of Matthew, chapter five. You are the light of the world. Yes, he gave us this title. No, 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 no. He gave us this not a title. It's a job. It's a responsibility. That's why this priest is missing the point. Exactly like what happened with the true vine. He thought it's just a title. No, he doesn't understand. Those people. They think that the Bible is just some nice words that to reflect on them. They don't know what actually the Holy Spirit intended to teach us. So to be the true light, I'll help you. You are the light of the world. Ah, there is a responsibility and there is a reward on that. It could be a punishment, not a reward, if you don't do it. You are the light of the world. Hallelujah. Everyone loves this. Uh -huh. You have a job. You have a responsibility. A city that is set on a hill cannot be hidden. Uh -huh. Nor do they light a lamp and put it under a basket, but on a lamp stand and it gives light to all who are in the house. So, if, so you have a job. Uh -huh. Let your lights, let your lights so shine before men that they may see your good works and glorify your father in heaven so it is not just a title it's a job and what happens if you don't do this job unfortunately you are not a christian as a star if you abide in the lord you will be at you will be a branch that carrying a uh, good fruit you will be a true light Then he continues, this priest, and he says, I'll give you another example. I am the shepherd or pastor. And at the same time, he said, I will set shepherds. And when he said to Peter, uh, uh, feed my, uh, my sheep. So he gives titles. In fact, he gives jobs, not titles. It's deeper than that, all right? Uh, so I would like now to answer him on this. Number one, I repeat again. Who gives this? It is not because he looks at it as a title. No, it is a job. It is a responsibility. He, Lord Jesus, is the one actually to give this, I would say, uh, job description with the, with the responsibility of it. The facilities and also the responsibility. So Jesus does this, not you, and give it to a very specific purpose. And actually you will be rewarded or ashamed if you don't do this job as a Christian. Jesus said about himself, he is the only one that he called himself, I am the... Uh, Good shepherd. No one can call himself the good shepherd. Uh, he did not describe Peter as a good shepherd, but yes, he asked him to take care of his sheep. And by the way, I would like to assure to this priest and also to every one of you guys that are watching me, Lord Jesus, yes, he set up pastors, shepherds, but not priests. So, Mr. Priest, show me where Jesus actually set up or ordained the priest in the New Testament. You will not find any. And to assure this, I'll take from St. Peter that the Lord like entrusted him to feed his sheep from his first epistle, Peter 1, chapter 5, verse 1. 
he is described he is talking to elders and even he describes himself as an elder and in the greek word it is uh presbyteros not erephs the elders who are among you i exhort i who am a fellow elder and a witness of the sufferings of christ and also a partaker of the glory that will be revealed so he did not describe himself as a priest or high priest as you're doing now so when you say ah oh, jesus uh, uh, appointed like shepherds or pastors yes but he did not appoint he did not appoint priests bad luck all right now let's go to when the lord actually spoke to peter uh, was he giving him just a title or a job he giving him a job and a warning uh, by the way this is in the book of john chapter 21 so when they had eaten breakfast jesus said to simon peter simon son of jonah do you love me more than these he said to him yes lord you know that i love you he said to him feed my lambs uh-huh let's continue he said to him again a second time simon son of jonah do you love me he said to him yes lord you know that i love you he said to him tend my sheep he said to him as the third time simon son of jonah do you love me peter was grieved because he said to him the third time do you love me and he said to him lord you know all things you know that i love you jesus said to him feed my sheep then the lord continues most assuredly i say to you when you were younger you grid you girded yourself and walked where you wished but when you are old you will stretch out your hands and another will gird you and carry you where you do not wish this he spoke signifying by what death he would glorify god and when he had spoken this he said to him follow me so jesus was talking to peter he is giving him a job and giving him a warning and even talking to him about something is going to happen to him it is not just a title that you say ah this is the whatever so i repeat this quickly yes he appointed shepherds pastors but not priests as a start and second thing when he was talking to peter as this he was giving him a job and the, like it's a, it will be an important job and you noticed in the book of acts in the first at least four chapters that peter actually was the spokesman of the church okay then this priest continues again uh the uh, the title actually it is not a title it is a job the title has a meaning to god but to us a different meaning with him it's an absolute one but to, to us it is not like that and now, uh, now he continues even uh this title no and he continues now let's go back to explain what is meant by i am the vine and he said we have given this not only to saint mary but even to the church and the every wife no bad luck hang on you are not saying the truth mr priest when you say that you have given it uh, what a what an arrogancy speech we're giving it to saint mary you give it to saint mary this is a heresy and when you give it to the church no you did not give it to the church because what you mentioned actually are uh, quotes from the bible from the old testament and it is not about the church by the way he doesn't know the he doesn't know the the book the, like the bible properly it was mentioned about the nation of israel the beloved nation of israel because he said if you heard that uh the church is the vine that we say this is uh your hand right planted it all right and he said he mentioned also what is required for to be done for my uh, vine and they didn't so actually these two are two references one in psalm 80 and the other one in isaiah 5 5 so let's uh, read this together in the uh, psalm 80 and i encourage you to read it it is not very long you will find it the whole the whole chapter is talking about uh, the nation of israel return we beseech you o god of hosts look down from heaven and see and visit 
the vine and the vineyard which your right hand has planted here he is talking not about the church he is talking about the nation of Israel bad luck they don't know the Bible just did they take anything good about Israel say this is the church this is whatever called the replacement theology which is totally wrong and uh, if it is bad stuff it's about the Jews if it's good stuff about the church of the New Testament bad luck it's only one church composed of Gentiles and Jews okay next one in the book of Isaiah chapter 5 uh, it says what more could be could have been done to my vineyard that I have not done it again he's talking about the uh, the nation of Israel and by the way the nation of Israel is represented in the Bible in three things in a vine or a vineyard in uh, olive tree and uh, in the fig tree all right so this guy just uh, he doesn't know or maybe if he knows he is he following this replacement theology series uh, uh, thing in fact it's all about the nation of Israel which actually according to the book of Matthew chapter 23 and also book of Luke I think I think chapter 21 or 22 can't remember that actually the, the 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 state of Israel is back since 1948. This to fulfill the prophecy that the branches of the fig tree will become tender again. Now it actually became tender again in 1948. But those guys who don't like it, and they even describe us who actually understand the prophecies about the return of the Jews, the return of Jerusalem, which actually happened in 1948, and also they captured the whole Jerusalem in 1967. This is a fulfillment of prophecies of the return of the Jews to, to God, uh -huh. and the, about the uh, second coming, about the rapture of the church, about the millennium. They reject all these, and meanwhile describe us as Zionist Christians, as if they would like to say that we are uh, betrayers of our countries in other words you would like to put us in uh, uh, in in uh, in problem with the with the authorities of uh, the, the, the of the country anyway this is not the big uh, like the main of the topic anyway so uh, then he continues so it is not wrong to give that we give no you cannot give you don't have this authority what arrogance you're talking about these titles, it is not titles, it's jobs uh, to someone. No, 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 no. Jesus is the one and there is a, behind, a job behind it, okay? So, uh, and he's talking after that rubbish. It uh, doesn't actually uh, degenerate anything from uh, uh, the dignity or honor of God and this stuff. He's just talking rubbish, all right? So, dear brother and sister, uh, so the, no, we cannot give the titles of Jesus to anyone. He is the one to actually, before, everything he mentioned, actually it has a, a meaning behind it. There is a job and a responsibility behind it. If you haven't subscribed to the channel, please do like the video, share it on social media. And unless the Lord becomes, we'll meet again in another episode. May the Lord bless you all. Salam al-Masih.